Hello everyone and welcome to today's math lesson with Everyday Seminar. Before we move on to today's lesson, let's go through the solution to last week's problem. Evaluate or calculate using the FTC or Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. So the question there, okay, we're going to differentiate the integrand 43 with respect to t, the upper limits of x, lower limits of a. Uh, these are the two main parts. Formula 1, Formula 2 for the FTC. So what we do here is the problem. First of all, it's basically two parts. First thing we're going to do, and this comes after, we're going to integrate 43. Okay, as you know, 43, you take that coefficient, put it on top here, t4, t to the power 4. Okay, remember, if we go backwards... If we take t4, go backwards, that 4 will go here to become 43. Okay, so now anyways, we have t4 here. Now what we do is we put in our upper and lower limit using t4, differentiate t4, x and a. So we're using this formula now, fx take away fa. So we have x here function of x minus the function of a, put in a here, a to the power of 4 x to the power 4 to equal a to the power 4, and that equals to 4x3. Okay, substituting. Therefore, the function of x is equal to 4x3. Okay, let's move on. So today's topic is probability theory, and uh, today we're just going to go through the basics, the introduction. Let's move on. So our key terms for today, probability, Theoretical, experimental, fraction, a decimal, and a tally. So, what is probability? Probability is a number from 0 to 1 that tells you how likely something is to happen. Probability can be either theoretical or experimental. What is theoretical? What is experimental? Let's move on to that. So, probability two main parts to it. Theoretical. Theoretical probability can be found without doing an experiment. Okay, here's a nice little picture I have here. Equations, formulas. The other type, experimental. Experimental probability is found by repeating an experiment and observing the outcomes. Okay, the practical part. So first, theoretical probability. I have a coin. My coin has a head side and a tail side. Since my coin has only two sides, there are only two possible outcomes when I flip it. It will either land on heads. I'm going to flip it here, the coin. Heads or tails. Move on. So theoretical probability. When I flip my coin, the probability that my coin will land on heads is 1 in 2. What is the probability that my coin will land on tails? That's right. There is a 1 in 2 probability that my coin will land on tails. 1 half heads and 1 half tails. A probability of 1 in 2 can be written in three ways. As a fraction, 1 over 2 or a half or 1 half. As a decimal, 0 0.5 and as a percentage, 50%. Theoretical probability again, when I spin this spinner, I have a 1 in 4 chance of landing on the section with the red A in it. 1 in 4 chance. A 1 in 4 chance can be written in three ways as a fraction, as I've done here. Again, as a decimal, 0 0.25, and as a percent or as a percentage, 25%. 1, 2, 3, 4. Moving on, theoretical probability. Imagine that I have, a, I have three balls in a bag. One ball is red, one ball is blue, and one ball is green. Now, I am going to take one ball from the bag. What is the probability that I will pick out a red ball? Probability, what are the chances that I will get a red ball? So, since there are three balls and only one is red, I have a one in three chance of picking out a red ball. One 
out of 1, 2, 3. I can write this again in three ways. Fraction, 1 over 3, or 1 third, as a decimal, 0 0.33, and as a percent, 33%. Moving on to experimental probability. Experimental probability is found by repeating an experiment and observing the outcomes. Now, experimental probability, remember the bag of balls we just talked about? The bag has only one red, one green, and one blue ball in it. There are a total of three balls in the bag. Now, theoretical probability says there is a one in three chance of selecting a red, or a green, or a blue ball. Move on. So, experimental probability, let's draw one ball from the bag. We draw one ball from the bag, take it out. It is a red ball. So we record the outcome on the tally, this sheet here. So our first, uh, the torirasu, our first pick from the bag, our first draw, we get one red ball. Now, what we do now, we put the red ball back in the bag, and then we, this time we draw another ball. We take out another ball, we draw again, and our second ball, is a green ball. So we record this outcome on the tally sheet. Second ball was a green. Next, we place the green ball back in the bag and we keep drawing balls and recording outcomes until we've done this six times. Um, remember to place each ball back in the bag, put it back, and then you draw again. Let's move on. Experimental probability, after six draws, your chart may look similar to this. Now look at the red column. Of our six draws, we selected a red ball two times. Have a look at that. The experimental probability of drawing a red ball was two in six. Okay, for red. Red ball. This can be expressed as a fraction, 2 over 6, or 1 over 3, 1 third, a decimal, 0 0.33, or a percentage, 33%. Don't forget that decimal, 0 0.33, can be, you can have that, those two dashes there, which means 0 0.33333, on and on. Okay, let's move on. Experimental probability. Notice the experimental probability of drawing a red, blue, or green ball experimental probability. So, when we carried out the experiment, we got 2 over 6 for red, 1 over 6 for blue, and 3 out of 6 for green, or 1 half. Third, 6 and a half. Now, let's compare the experimental and theoretical probability. Look at the chart at the right. So, experimental probability, we, got, we pulled one out of three, or one out of six, or sorry, two out of six balls were red, and one out of the six balls we took out were blue, and three out of the six, or one half, were green. But in theory, it should be one third, one third, one third, everything the same. So, is the experimental probability always the same as the theoretical probability? Comparing experimental and theoretical probability, again, in this experiment, the experimental and theoretical probabilities of selecting a red ball are equal, okay? These are the same, according to theory and a practice, experimental, but one over six for blue and two over six over here. Experimental, one over six, theoretical, we get two over six. Um, for green, experimental, we got one over two, or we pulled three out of six. However, according to theory, it should be one over three, which is equivalent to two over six as well. Okay, let's move on. So when we look at uh, the both experimental and theoretical probability, we find out that the experimental probability of selecting a blue ball is less than the theoretical. So this is less. This is higher, 
The experimental probability of selecting a green ball is greater than the theoretical probability. So one half is greater than, well, this is higher than that. Half is greater than third, and these are exactly the same, okay? So probability review. Probability is a number from zero to one that tells you how likely something is to happen. Or zero to one, or we're gonna zero to 100%. Okay, there are two types of probability. Theoretical which can be found without doing an experiment. Without, this uses stuff like formulas, and order of functions, equations in general. And experimental can be found by repeating an experiment and recording outcomes. So this is the practice or the practical part. Okay, remember that. Moving on. Another review, probability can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage. Fraction, decimal, percentage, or percent. One in two, one half, 0 0.5, 50%. One in three, one third, 0 0.33, 33%. One in four, one quarter, 0 0.25, 25%. Okay, now our trivia quiz, um, say for example I flip a coin nine times and each time I get a heads, H. What would be your guess on the tenth flip? So I get a heads, heads, heads all the way and on the tenth flip, what do you think it will be? What do you think it's going to be? Next week we'll go through the answer. And anyways, thank you for joining us today, Everyday Seminar. Have a good day.